Hi everyone. Welcome to the halfway point of our course in MAL 561. It's hard to imagine that uh, we just started a few weeks ago exploring this whole idea of what it means to be a nonprofit organization. In the first couple of modules, we looked at a general background to nonprofit organizations, and then we looked at the history of the nonprofit sector, tracing its history back to even ancient times of giving and philanthropy. In the next set of modules, we looked at the structure of nonprofits. Specifically, we looked at this whole idea of how nonprofits are organized. Obviously, nonprofits cover a whole swath of industries from healthcare to education to social services, uh, governments, um, humanitarian organizations. There's so many. And we looked at different ways to categorize those. We also explored this idea of a board, a board of directors. What does it mean to be a governing board versus an advisory board, for example? What does it mean to be a self-perpetuating board? And I encouraged you, and, and still do, if you have any opportunity to participate on a board, do so. It's one of the greatest and rewarding experiences that you'll, you'll have. In Module 5, we've been looking at this idea of collaboration and what it means to work together. Now, collaboration in the nonprofit sector is nothing new as organizations have pulled together their resources and their finances even and, and talent to tackle many different issues. And we see this still in effect today with the example given in the book uh, with an environmental cause and it's done a lot today in education. One of the terms that is newer to the nonprofit sector, though the concept isn't, is this idea of collective impact. And this past week, you read an article from Stanford Social Innovation Review regarding defining what is collective impact and, and what it is really, it's a framework for essentially working together so that there's no redundancies and that each member of the whole knows their role. What's been interesting in our discussion so far is this idea of working together primarily for financial reasons. And so next module, in module six, we'll be looking at philanthropy and the whole giving landscape. What does it mean to give to a nonprofit organization and what are the mechanisms for giving? There are grants and such. Um, and so how does nonprofit, how do nonprofit organizations utilize these funds? What are the best practices in fundraising? We'll explore those things. In the next couple of weeks, we'll also be preparing for your next paper, which is interviewing a nonprofit leader. And so I look forward to those, uh, that paper as well. So in terms of next steps, what I'd like you to do is continue on with the discussion of module five and prepare for getting ready for module six. Now, I also talked about early on in the class, a hangout, a professor hangout session. And I'd like to do that in the next couple of weeks before your next paper is due. So be on the lookout in the announcements for that. Other than that, I look forward to our continued discussions online. I've had fun this first half of the class. One more thing is on your discussion thread, you'll notice that there's a, your feedback requested. I'd like to know how the class is going so far. What are some things you've learned? And perhaps what are some things that you would still like to learn? What are some of the questions that have been answered? And maybe what are some of the questions that you would still like answered? I look forward to reading those as well. Well, that's all for now. I look forward to our continued discussion on the subject. Have a great weekend, and I'll see all of you online.